So spring is fast approaching us and we have had a couple of really warm spring-like days. Not today really, but we have had them. And I wanted to come on here and show you the kind of updates that I've given my makeup bag in time for spring. I think it is important to change your makeup routine every season and to kind of adapt it to the weather and what's going on around and that kind of thing. So this is my kind of spring makeup edit. I've got it all in this kind of pretty bag and I'm gonna talk you through what I've been using and I think will be really useful for springtime. First things first, in terms of base, I think it's nicer to have a lighter coverage, more dewy, natural looking base in the springtime because I think spring lighting is quite harsh, especially kind of early in the morning and when it's very sunny. So I have been obsessed with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This is fantastic. It looks so natural on the skin. It has a beautiful, beautiful finish. It comes with a pump. It's definitely a kind of 8 out of 10 foundation. It lasts nicely, really, really, really recommend this. I've got oily skin and it works great on me. And then another foundation is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Light Infusing Foundation. Again, beautiful finish, very kind of beautifying and natural looking. It has a slight shimmer to it, but nothing too obvious in your face, but just looks really lovely. Then I've also switched up my under eye concealer because I wanted something a little bit more hydrating and less cakey looking. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Really, really like this. I'm wearing this under my eyes today. It's a very pretty kind of um, light texture, but very easy to kind of work into the skin and just gives that kind of decent coverage, but you don't feel like it's looking a little bit cakey, which the Collection 2001 sometimes can look like. So that's to, in terms of base. Then I've also changed up my bronzer because I felt like I wanted something a little bit more glowy and a little bit different. And I've been loving the Bourjois bronzer. This is the, was it Chocolate de Soleil, I think it's called, Delice de, oh, I don't know, it's in French anyway, bronzing powder, um, that looks like a chocolate bar. Swirling a big brush in this, dusting it everywhere, and it just looks really natural, not too orange, and really, really pretty. I'm really impressed with this. And then in terms of blusher, I've got a couple of really nice options here. This one right here is by Soap and Glory. And this is their Love at First Blush, which, come on, the name of this is just adorable, as is with all Soap and Glory things. But this is what the blush looks like. It's kind of shaped like a compass, which is really beautiful. And it's just this kind of shimmery um, array of shades, sort of like a shimmer brick. Not too shimmery. I'll kind of show you the kind of pigmentation of it. It's just a very pretty kind of nice dusky rose pink shade and it looks beautiful kind of on the cheekbones and if you just want to add a little bit of glimmer to your face this is a really really nice one. Then I've also been loving MAC Peaches which I got recently. A really pretty blush. I can't believe I haven't owned this before. Just a nice pop of peach on the cheek and it looks amazing. And then I also like to kind of wear a cream blush sometimes during the springtime because I feel like it just looks really fresh and pretty. So I have been reaching for the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in Soft Pink. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today. Really nice texture, really nice formula. Um, the packaging's a little bit funny, but a really, really beautiful, beautiful product that will look really natural in any lighting. So I really like that. So that's that in terms for ch in terms of cheek products. Then in terms of eyes, I've kind of changed my brow routine just because I felt like during the winter you can get away with wearing a lot more makeup, but during the spring and summertime you want something a little bit lighter and spring's all about looking fresh. So I've been obsessed with the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is amazing, it's just like a little mascara wand for your brows. I'm wearing it in my brows today and it just gives a nice amount of definition without being over the top. And then for eyes, I've not been doing too much. I've been either going for like a really nice shimmery shade, which I'll show you in a minute, or this little um, set by Soap and Glory. This is in What's Nude and it just has this kind of nice selection of mattes and shimmers and they're not too Bright, I tend to prefer sort of really shimmery golds and bronzes in the summertime and for spring I like to kind of keep it quite natural. But I have been reaching for some shades from my Too Faced Neutral Eye, Natural Eye, sorry, palette, which um, are these shades. So I like... Um, Silk Teddy, that's a really great one. Nude Beach, I like, but the fallout of this is really annoying. And then Honey Pot and Push Up are kind of nice for the crease area. But I have been wearing the Soap and Glory one more than this. I feel like I don't like too done of an eye during the springtime. So that's what I've been using in terms of um, kind of eye 
shadows. And then I've also been using this bourgeois eyeshadow as a highlighter on the tops of my cheeks. This is in number 34 and I've just been using it on a fan brush on the tops of my cheeks to add a little bit of a golden glow. Really pretty. I prefer these types of kind of golden shades during spring but a light gold rather than a kind of bronzy tone because I feel like again it just looks really fresh and pretty. So that is um, that. Then in terms of lip products, I've got a couple here that I've been really loving. These are two chubby sticks. I've done a kind of full overview of chubby sticks that might be up soon, I'm not quite sure yet. But this is the Bourjois Colour Boost one in Peach on the Beach, which looks like this. It's a little bit broken, I need to give it a little bit of TLC. And this is the Revlon Colour Burst Lacquer Balm in Coquette. Love, love 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 this so those have been kind of my choices and then I've also got a nice um, peachy lip here from Mac this is Max ravishing it's just a kind of nice not too bright peach shade that I think is nice for this time of year and I've also been going a lot for the Rimmel apocalypse um, lip sort of I don't know, could they call it a lip lacquer yeah um, in Celestial which is this kind of pretty pink shade because I think it really brightens up your complexion and I've also been chucking on the occasional bit of gloss just to kind of liven up a look and because it makes you look fresh and pretty and I've been using this Revlon one a lot which is what's this called pink P is that what it's called pink pop the color the writing is kind of blurred off a little bit but really pretty it's not very pigmented so it just is nice what it over whatever lipstick you're wearing i really like that and then i have just got a couple of nail options here that i did want to share with you because i've been really enjoying wearing kind of nice spring colors this is barry m's um what is this called? I want to say it's called Mint Green, but Barry M, the names are never really that convincing. So this one right here, I'm wearing it on my toes and it's a really pretty kind of mint colour. Then Essie Splash of Grenadine, a great, great springtime colour. I love this. Then I've also got two other ones from Essie. I've got Essie's um, Cute as a Button, which is just a nice kind of bright pink, but not too bright for that's it summary and also this kind of pastel pink from Essie called we're in it together I think Essie do great kind of corally pinks like some brands like Revlon for example do great vampy colors and great reds I think Essie's great at the kind of pastel shades so I really really like those and then I also think I've got one more nail product in here yep I couldn't not mention Essie's mint candy apple because it's a perfect perfect spring shade I'm wearing Rimmel's um pear drop on my finger today but I love this colour. So that's my springtime edit. I'd love to know what products you will be using this springtime and if you've given your makeup a little bit of a revamp. I've got a couple of spring themed videos coming up soon, a kind of spring skin detox and that type of thing and also like I said chubby stick video. I've got a Mother's Day gift guide coming up so I've got a bunch of really exciting videos coming up soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a big 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 thumbs up so I know you liked it and leave me any questions or comments in the description not in the description box in the comments down below